Hey, music junkies, professor of rock, always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. If you are all about the music, you're going to want to subscribe below to this channel so you don't miss out on our daily content. We always have something special coming for you. Also, look for the Patreon link in our description. Help us out there if you can. Now, today we have a mini feature I'm really excited about. It's from everybody's favorite synth pop practitioner, Howard Jones. Howard Jones gives us the lowdown on his very first hit, the catchy and cathartic smash new song. Now, this went to number three in the UK and number 27 here in the States. This includes an appearance from electronic pioneer Gary Newman. Here's Howard with the story. I want to ask you about New Song, because that was kind of your entrance into the world. Went to number three in the UK, number 27 in the US. I mean, right yeah. off the bat, yeah. you know, you started to make some progression in the US, but it's literally a philosophical song. It yeah. really is, is what yeah, was going on in your life. You were yeah. working in a factory, gigging. Yeah. Tell me about putting that song yeah. together. Well, I left music college because I wanted to pursue my music. And I got the first job that anybody offered me, literally the first job, and it was working in a saran wrap factory, yeah. perforating saran wrap. And I said to the guys that, you know, and, and girls who I work with, who I love, by the way, I really got on well with them. They're great people. And I said, look, but one day I'm going to walk out of here. I, I want to do my music. This is what I'm, I think I'm good at. You know, yeah. I want to do, I want to, that's my contribution. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I used to do like demos during the night. I did about four or five jobs. And finally, finally, after being rejected by every single publisher and and record company, one guy got it and I got signed. So during this period of time, I wanted to write a song that was re reflecting, you know, how I was feeling and just saying to people, look, you know, if I could do it, I'm an ordinary guy with, with a bit of talent and I, I've got a dream to do something. If I can do it, so can other people and, you know, give other people some encouragement to do that. It may not be music. It could be any kind of, you know, thing that they really want to do. So the new song was really my manifesto, you know. Don't crack up, bend your brain, see both sides and throw off your mental chains. In, in other words, don't be driven by fear. Just go for it and if it goes wrong, then just pick yourself back up and go for it again, you know, and challenging preconceived ideas. So if people tell you your music or whatever isn't right, mm -hmm. you, you don't have to listen to it. You right. can believe in yourself, you yeah. know, and believe in what you think. Um, Letting go of fear. Yeah, yeah really. very much following that dream. Yeah. And the video yeah, was so yeah. cool because it really yeah. was that manifesto <laughs> right. as you talk about. That's right. It was the story. It was me in, uh, in the factory. The part of it that wasn't true was driving away in a Rolls Royce. I mean, <laughs> that, that didn't happen. <laughs> but it was sort of symbolic, wasn't it? Absolutely. Of like liberation from and throwing off your mental chains and stuff. Playing Top of the Pops. That was the yeah. first song that you played on there. Yeah. It's had such a second life with Breaking Bad. Maybe I know a whole new market. Maybe all we need is the meth. She's in Supergirl. Do you remember the first time that you heard your song on the radio after working yeah. so hard? Do you remember where you were? Just I tell do. me about that really quick. I do. I do remember it. And I haven't told this story very many times, but it was scheduled to come on Radio 1 as part of what they called it. They called it like round table where they used to review the new singles coming yeah. out. One of the guys on the panel was Gary Newman. And so I knew, they told me that this was going to, it was going to be played the first time. And yeah. I was absolutely, I, I was scared out of my mind <laughs> about, about yeah. what, what, what it was going to sound like and what the people were going to say about it. And uh -huh. I, I remember actually Pulling, I was in my bedroom and I pulled the duvet over my head. Uh, anyway, I, d I did listen to it. And Gary Newman, bless his heart, <laughs> gave it, a, he said, this is going to be huge, this record. This is going to be massive. And I've never been able to sort of see him and meet him and tell him how grateful I am to <laughs> say him that. You're surrounded by people with advice, mm -hmm. you know, be it record company people, friends, managers, if you've got them media even, you know, the, the, every, everyone kind of sort of feels they know what's best for you. Um, and, and the only advice I would give would be to ignore that advice. 
really, and it sounds slightly glib, but I, I but I, I, it's genuine. I I did best. I do best when I sort of almost arrogantly follow my own nose and, and, and trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Make the music you love. Don't view your music as a vehicle to success. Don't think, oh, that'd be good on the radio. You know, that might be this. You know, don't see it as a, as a, as a means to an end. You know, it, it is the end. You know, that piece of music must be something you absolutely love. And, and you must only think of it as, as, do you love it? You know, and if you do, then great. Gary Newman, you know, I mean, yeah. you know, the coolest guy in synths. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, um, that was great. Hey, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment about Howard Jones and this wonderful song. What other Hojo songs would you like to see us break down in the future? Tell us about that in the comments. We'll see what we can do. Of course, you can listen to his greatest songs below on our curated playlist. Make sure to click on the Amazon links below to get Howard's music on vinyl and other music and the t-shirt of the day. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel, share it, help people know about this. Support us on Patreon. Help us keep the music alive. Until next time, three chords and the truth. Looking forward to seeing you again.